Hi everyone, it's me Shauna D and today I'm here to show you this cute little minion design just in time for Despicable Me 2. Yay! I can't wait. I'm so excited. It's next week. And um, yeah, my little girl loves this movie. Makes me watch it over and over and over again. And so I had to put together a minion face painting design for you, for her, for everybody. I think it's pretty easy. I think you'll enjoy painting it. And yeah, if you have any questions or any comments, leave them below. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like these kind of designs and if you want to see more of these sort of designs. Anyways, um, if you want to learn this, keep watching. Okay, to start this design, I'm going to be using some daubers. Um, these are kind of important. If you don't have these, um, go out and get them. A friend of mine showed these to me and they are lifesavers for doing eyes. So they are these little things here. They're the Martha Stewart um, daubers and you find it in the paint section at Michael's um, craft store. But we're gonna be using these. I like these because they're plastic. They ha There are some wood ones that have wood handles, but those tend to get yucky really quickly. I think these um, are much nicer. So, um, yeah, so the, we're going to be starting off with these. And the way I use it is I actually just take the tip and spray it a little bit to wet it and then dip it into my white paint. Okay, so we're going to be taking our little dauber and we're going to be making some eyeballs right in the center of your forehead. Um, so I'm going to, let's see, I'm trying to get this. So we're going to do one right here and one right here. Okay, just like that. And that's the start of your design. Okay, so while the white is drying, because you need the white to dry before you can do the next layer, I'm going to be taking some yellow to start our minion body. Oh, what? I get this in the right place for you. So we're just going to draw where we want his body to be, or his head, and then come around and down. Okay? And then you want to leave a little bit of space between the yellow and the white. And then you can just kind of fill yeah. in. Now we're going to take a sponge and some blue. And I'm using um, a light pearl blue or, or metallic blue. And we're just going to kind of go on the edges and on the forehead and bring it down under the cheekbones. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing over here. Just a little bit and then leave a little bit of space. Now, this is where a wipe comes in handy. You need to leave a little space right here. Okay? You don't want that blue. You want to leave that flesh colored. Okay, next I'm going to take some Star Blend White powder like this on a little poofer and um, I'm just gonna I kind of fold it over my finger and then just dig into the powder here and with a star stencil this is a BAM stencil it's number 1039 and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put white stars all on top of the blue here okay so we're gonna start with these stars here. And it should look like that. If you're doing when you're doing this on a child, make sure you tell the child to push their face into your hand when you're doing the stencil. And that way you'll get enough pressure and it'll turn out right. Okay, so we're gonna turn this upside down right here and get that same big one just like that 
And then we can put a bunch of little ones. Let's see, let's do... Let make sure it's going in the right shape. Let's use this right here. Oh, that one might be too close. So, looks like that. Isn't that cute? And then you do the same thing on this side. Just switch the stencil so that it's, you know, shape facing this way. Oh, I love it. Okay, so now we're going to do the little minions. Oh, actually, we got to do the center eyeballs first. So, I'm going to be using this smaller little dauber here. Okay, and I'm going to spray that. And we're going to take some brown because the minion's eyes are brown and black. So, right in the middle, I can't see, hold on. Do one here and one here. Okay, just like that. And then we're going to do his little arm, and his arm is going to be right about here. Okay, just like that. And while that yellow is drying, we're going to take, I'm using some Fab Silver. And I like the Fab Silver because it's super metallic. This is the Fab Silver here. And um, we're going to be using that for the goggles. So we're just going to trace in this negative space here that you left open. side of the goggles, a little strap on his goggles. So there are two lines, just like that. Two lines on this side. And then you're just going to give a really light, light outline to the goggles. So I'm going to start here. Okay, so now that you've kind of blended out the goggles a little bit, our minion has hair. So his hair starts here in the middle. And it's just going to be... some little flicks. That didn't work out so well. Anyway, it's much easier when doing it on somebody else. Okay, so now we're going to do his mouth. And his mouth is really, really simple. It's just a little smile. So, like that. Gosh, I couldn't even get that right. Gee whiz. When you're not working over wrinkles, it's much easier. Anyways, that's your design. If you want to add glitter to it, feel free to add glitter. Um, I'm going to just because I like glitter. 
which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Let's add this one. So for the glitter, I would just do the glitter like on the stars. Just like that. I just kind of wet my finger, dip it into the glitter, and then it sticks. It'll stick to the star blends. Okay, can you see the glitter? And your little minion. Isn't he cute? Look, look what happened. Oh my gosh, isn't that funny? <laughs> Let me pull out. And that's your completed Despicable Me design. I think it's really cute, and I think all the kids will love it, boys and girls. This is a universal design, and just in time for Despicable Me too. I can't wait. I'm so excited. Anyways, I hope you all enjoy it, and I'll see you soon. Bye.